I, I think it might be a while for Phoenix to see if they can build something back up again because I don't think that DeAndre Ayton, as well as he played in these playoffs, is a viable number two to just pair with Devin Booker and say we are definitely getting to the finals. They will need another piece, and I don't know that it's Chris Paul with the age, the contract, and whether he'll even be here next year. Yeah, honestly, I don't want this to sound like patronizing or anything, but my heart really goes out to Chris Paul. Like, I I truly feel bad for Chris Paul a lot of the times. Like, I just feel like his career has just, it has been so unlucky, you know? And he's finally here at the finals, and this was his opportunity, and it slipped away again. And, and like you said, he's not getting any younger. I think he's like 36 or like 37, like 37. He's getting up there for sure. And so like these opportunities, they're few and far between for him now. And I don't know that he is still the sun's guy. I don't think that he is. I think that at this point in his career, he's not always very healthy. Like I think that there's inconsistencies just in his overall general health. And so I feel like I don't know that he's the one for them. And if he's not, and they're going somewhere else, where are they going? Who are they going for? And is it going to be enough? You know, like, because then once Chris Paul leaves, or if he leaves, you're kind of still rebuilding a little bit again, unless you get some superstar, you're still kind of trying to build back a core group. And I think that for them, this was their chance. This was their opportunity. And I think it's going to be a while before we see them again. I'm not saying that they're not going to be competitive. I'm sure that they still will be like, they had a really good record. So I feel like it's unfair to totally write them off but I'm not sure I think it's going to take them longer now to find their footing again you both have said some really good things you Nick you were talking about how DeAndre Aiden isn't a solid number two and I agree with you completely and I just don't think that they're going to be back anytime soon like a lot of things went the same way and Kayla you weren't being patronizing because I feel the exact same way like I genuinely (laughs) feel bad for Chris Paul like he's 37 years old you don't get these many opportunities this is his first time this far and he's 37 now and they lost and it's such a not just the like it's also the way they lost they lost four straight games they're up two nothing it was games that like the bucks should not have won in games three or four booker dropped 42 games in a row and they still lost that kind of thing does not leave a player's mind especially a veteran like him who knows how the nba works to me i don't think he's getting another chance i think that's kind of he might go to like another team and be on the bench for a while but i think for chris Paul that's pretty much it and for the Phoenix Suns in general you are right in the fact that Devin Booker put a lot of people on notice which is good for him and maybe that's like we're talking about earlier the small market maybe they're going to get even bigger free agent to come to Phoenix to help out Devin Booker to come you know help out DeAndre Aiden but I think the Suns will be good in due time but they have a really solid bench they actually have a lot of young guys you know they had like McCall Bridges and Cameron Payne who's a cast off from the Bulls and he's been a big point during the series so I think the Suns will it'll be a little bit but I think they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fascinated to get an understanding, and I think we'll know later on this summer where Chris Paul feels like this organization is, because that's going to be a big determining factor for him at 37 years old. He's going to go where he thinks that he can win a championship, and whether he thinks that that is in Phoenix or not remains to be seen. And I think that that will tell you a lot about how he feels about the organization, the coaching staff and the players, not to say that he hasn't had an outstanding tenure in the one year there and and building the relationships. You could see tangibly the impact that he had on that roster. I mean, they were night and day better after the momentum that they were able to create in the bubble and then carry it through all this season. I mean, they had an outstanding year, but at the same time, it is fair to question about how much of a contender this team can be when other big teams in the West are going to get healthy relatively quickly. So we will see how he feels on that. But if Chris Paul were to not come back, I think that that is a devastating blow for Phoenix because it's not only that you lose a star, you lose a special kind of star with the basketball IQ and the way that Chris Paul plays, which is so unselfishly, it is very difficult to replicate. You're not saying, okay, I'm losing Devin Booker and, You know, Devin Booker, make no mistake, is a better player than Chris Paul is right now. I'm not trying to make that argument, but Devin Booker would be, I would say, more easily replaced in that way because, okay, I'll go trade for Damian Lillard. And it's not the same one for one trade, but there are guys out there that can do to a limited degree what Devin Booker can do in terms of scoring the basketball. I, I think Damian Lillard is a comparable player in that way, but. Chris Paul is a guy who is just incredibly smart 
in a basketball IQ sense and the leadership and everything that he brought to their organization as an unselfish player. The guys who play point guard the way Chris Paul does are fewer and farther between as the NBA has gone along the last five to 10 years. And that is not someone that you are able to just plug and play from the next free agent that's out there. So if Chris Paul doesn't return, it's going to be really difficult for them to replicate, at least in my opinion. No, and I think that's an absolutely fair like observation. I think that Chris Paul's like his experience and his leadership is what he brings to a team more than any of his actual skills. I think that like the type of vitality that he can like just bring into a team and the energy and just the overall confidence because he's played so long. He knows so much that you have a leader like him in charge of your team as your point guard. I think that that, that calming effect and that sort of intangible is something that nobody else is really going to bring to the table, not in the same way that he does. And so that's what makes him so valuable. Not necessarily, like we said, that he's the best scorer. He's the best guy on the team. Like he isn't, he is not, but there's, he has so many, something about him. There's such an intangible presence with him that makes him, it elevates him as a player and as a person. And he's someone that people want to work with. Like nobody hates well, I guess I don't know that for a fact, but anyone that I think I've heard, nobody hates working with Chris Paul. Like Very he, well respected around the league. Yeah, like he is very dependent. And so I, dependable, dependent? I don't know, dependable, I think. Dependable. Um, I think that he's somebody that teams look for, for his veteran experience. And so it would be a massive blow to Phoenix because like we said, I don't know that they could ever get, that they're going to get someone like that again. Chase, before we go to break, where does Phoenix go if Chris Paul is not back next year? They go further down the ranking. They really do. Like Chris Paul is, the like Kayla said, it. he's the heart and soul of that team. All it took was, their roster is pretty similar to what was last year in the bubble. Chris Paul shows up, boom. The final, like it takes one guy who can really, I think the hardest part of any sports program is making people really buy into what they're doing. They completely bought into Chris Paul. They bought into Monty Williams and Monty Williams and Chris Paul. I mean, you know, have respect for each other since like the new Orleans days. So I, I generally just don't think if Phoenix loses Chris Paul, it'd be devastating. It'd be an understatement. 